if you're considering not to take a vaccine shot, I would rather suggest uh, to get informed first, because sometimes people get informed from, uh, for example, forum or from internet, and those are not really reliable sources. So I would suggest to go, for example, to your uh, family physician and to ask him whether you should get vaccinated or not and uh, to inform yourself, for example, on a newspaper or re really reliable sources. So the seasonal flu is coming up. What people would you say would should should really get that flu shot? Well, uh, the critical groups would be uh, young children, uh, elderly, and uh, most importantly, I guess, uh, people with, uh, with health conditions like asthma, diabetes, and also pregnant uh, ladies could uh, get flu shot just in case. But it's very important if you're not sure uh, whether you need to get this flu shot, you need to consult with your physician and then you will know whether you need it uh, or not. There are claims that vaccination is linked to autism. Uh, what do you think about those claims? I think that's an important question to ask in terms of vaccines and their safety profile. A researcher a number of years ago suggested a link between the measles, mumps and rubella vaccine and autism. That article has been retracted and has been widely shown to be presenting false results. It's a shame that this, vaccine, uh, this article was published because it resulted in some people feeling less confident in vaccines. And as a result, we've seen uh, a sudden rise in epidemics of some of the diseases that should have been protected with that vaccine. So what is your view on, on overall when it comes to risks with vac vaccination? All vaccines undergo a very strenuous process of evaluation. They're assessed for safety and also for toxicity before they ever enter a human study. Before they enter the general public uh, population, a vaccine has to go through a number of different phased trials. And so I feel very confident that any vaccine that goes into the general public domain has been adequately evaluated. But it doesn't stop with uh, simply releasing the vaccine to the public. Even when a vaccine is in use, it's constantly being evaluated for both safety and also effectiveness to see if there are any improvements that could be made with a vaccine. So you're a group of junior researchers here at the Salganska Academy who yeah. decided you wanted to, to spread more information about the importance of getting vaccinated. Why is that? Uh, it's very essential that people are aware about the new seasonal influenza vaccination. Uh, it can, uh, the information regarding any vaccination is key before the season of infection is arriving. It can reduce a, a lot of uh, new infections or people can get severely uh, sick and it can be also fatal. So in order to prevent all the co cost of uh, uh, vaccination or cost of medication and also of course uh, the impact on human health, it's essential that people are aware before the season begins and we can reduce all the cost and also information can be spread. So are you going to get vaccinated yourself? Yes, I was vaccinated uh, in the last season and I'm planning to get vaccinated uh, again for the influenza. You're working on a universal vaccine. What's the idea behind this vaccine? Uh, so basically uh, every year the influenza virus change. So uh, in case of the seasonal flu, the people need to come back to take a shot if they want to prevent uh, the influenza. Uh, so uh, the, the vaccines that are now currently in the market, they are not available uh, for protecting uh, the people uh, during different years, but uh, you need to renew it. But uh, what is the idea behind the uh, universal flu vaccine is that make a vaccine that can work uh, for much longer time and so you don't need to do the, um, uh, the vaccine every year. And the, the other thing is that in time of crisis, when the pandemic is come, there is less chance of uh, answering to the pandemic very soon. So you need something in hand and previously to work out and uh, to protect you, at least a major part of the population. Uh, so these are the two purpose behind the universal flu vaccine. What would you say is the coolest thing about this project, Univac flu? 
Uh, I would say it's that we get to meet a lot of young uh, researchers from different scientific backgrounds and also cultural backgrounds and we work together in a network of different institutes spread across Europe um, and uh, we also uh, well, part of the Marie Curie program is that we get to uh, have a lot of training and develop our careers in science.